I learned about the the co-touring, con, con, contouring. contouring. I learned, dude, this shit is amazing. Like, so, like, do y'all do you know what it is over here, giant man? You do? Wow. All right. Damn, dude. How do you know about it? <laughs> You're gay? Oh god, that makes perfect sense. So. You're that big and gay? That's fucking scary right there. How tall are you? Six seven. Six seven and you're six seven and gay, dude. Like that. Like I don't ever agree with homophobia, but you gotta understand it a little bit. Like, like I'm just saying. Like if you're worried about the gays, you're like they're fine. Then you meet him, you're like, all right. Well, he scares me a little bit. He is like the size of a zebra, and he's. I don't know why I said zebra. That was just the animal that came to mind. Did you play football? Yeah. Yeah, dude. Hell yeah, man. When did you come out as a gay? Uh, after college. After college? Got to. Got to screw that scholarship. Can't mess it up. <laughs> what college did you go to? I, I played I don't know. Ivy uh, League. Ivy League? Oh, hmm. Okay, dude. Like, <laughs> hey, you don't got to be an asshole. You, no. No, no, you know, you were too quick to say Ivy League. You didn't even give me a fucking chance to guess, dude. No, dude, you think you're so fucking big and bad, dude. Fucking. Dude, I got fucking three cloves of garlic backstage. You better. My aunt said if you shake it at him. <laughs> no, that's. Damn, dude, you play. You went to the Ivy League school. That's awesome, dude. You were like, that's you're like a perfect man. You're six seven. You went to an Ivy League, which means you're smart. And now you're with this little bitch right here, dude. You understand how lucky you are? He's six seven, Ivy League school, dude. He's like a pit bull. He can turn on you any day, and if he wanted to, you better do your fucking laundry, okay? What? You get the guns all the time. They get the guns all the time? Yeah, yeah you shoot guns too, dude. There's <laughs> a scar? A scope, yeah. A scope? Okay. So you oh, so you put the scope too close to your eye? That's the that's the first thing where I was like, yeah, that's definitely something a gay guy would do for sure. <laughs> that redneck over there, he's like, oh I knew it, fuck him. I knew that fairy right there, yeah, makes sense. No. <laughs> Well, because you're used to having scopes, it like you know, going there, you know. You're always looking down the eye, the eye of the beholder. You know. Did y'all meet in college, or where'd y'all meet at? Uh, we met here, but we're just friends. You just met today here? No, no. Oh, I was about to be like, oh, I'm sorry. But you're like, no, I just they sent me here. I don't even know this. <laughs> Y'all are just friends? Yeah. Dude, what, what, why don't you fucking go? Look at, like, what are you looking he has for? A boyfriend. You have a boyfriend? Yeah. Break up with your bitch ass boyfriend. <laughs> Where is your boyfriend right now? Is he 6'7 in an Ivy League school? Yeah, he's like 5'4 in Brazil. He's like 5'4 in Brazil. Oh, you. <laughs> you <laughs> bitch. He's probably a little cute little thing, got a cute little ass. And... <laughs> Fucking dude. That's, that's gay. That's gay that... that is gay that you would go with that guy. You don't because you want to be the top, right? Are you a top? You're a top. And that's what it is. Hey dude, get it, let your fucking ego go, okay? <laughs> Fucking bigotry in today's world. Imagine your little Brazilian boyfriend being like, what is going on right now? Because it sounds homophobic, but it's not. He's asking you to fuck another guy. It's like, this accent messes it all up, dude. I don't even know what we were talking about. Like, Go, yeah. Yeah, the contour, dude. I, uh, 